What is up, guys? It's your boy, Lord Zed, and today I'm going to be introducing to you the new Poo Scale. So this is going to be the way I'm going to measure how good a gun is, how good a map is, how bad it sucks, and all of the above. So basically, the objective is to score very low on the Poo Scale. That means it's awesome. If it scores high on the Poo Scale, that means it's shit. So in between, you have Donald Trump, which is a little better than shit, and then you have Iggy Azalea, and let's be honest, who doesn't like a white girl with a black girl's ass? Alright guys, so in this video, I'm going to be playing with the NV4. I'm going to have a quick draw handle and a silencer on, but this is going to be... You know, not so much about this particular gameplay, but this is going to be my review of the game as a whole. So, I'm not going to lie, when the game first came out, I could not stand it. Um, the first day, I told my boys, don't buy it. And it's funny, because to this day, a lot of them still don't have it. It's still the first week. I think they're still waiting to see what my overall judgment call is, or they're just not you know, interested in getting it at all. But I told him, don't get it. The game sucks. Don't even waste your money because I was very pissed off. Why was I pissed off, you might ask? The learning curve in this game has been harder for me than any other Call of Duty. And I'm not about to give you any, you know, stats or try and be, oh, the science nerd or geeky about, oh, the, the kill shot time. None of that shit. This is going to be just a, you know, regular dude, the average Joe's take on Infinite Warfare. So pretty much, the game sucked when I first got it. Um, I had a very hard time adjusting to the speed of it. And let's be honest, if you've played this game, the spawning is freaking terrible. So, you know, going into a new game, the first rule of thumb is learn the map. Okay, I get it. You got to learn the maps. You got to, you know, figure out the flow, all of that. But here's the thing. If you're going to learn the maps in a game like this, you have to be able to to sit back a little bit. So the thing about this game, man, whenever they spawn guys, they're always spawning people around you to where if you're sitting down, even if you have your back to a wall, there's a room, there's a door, there's some way for the guy to get on the side of you or behind you and end up destroying you. So really, there is no sitting in this game. So you can imagine the first, I'll say two days or so, I'm not even going to sit here and lie and act like, you know, after the first five games or after the first ten, hell no. It was a, like at least two days straight where I was just getting ravaged. And, you know, after the first two days, you kind of learn the flow of the game. You figure out which guns are what. And my thing is, I got into the game, you know, after playing the beta. And I knew the first gun I was going to really use was going to be the NV4. And that's the one I'm using, like I said, in this video. It's one of my favorite guns. So, get into the game, like, okay, I have a gun, I know what I'm going to use. Um, you know, couldn't wait to get Ghost and Scavenger and, you know, all the perks that I'm used to using in the other Call of Duties. But it was so frustrating. Um, like I said, the time to kill, and I said I wasn't going to be a little nerd, but it seemed like the time to kill was just all wrong. You could be loading somebody up, and I mean, this is still happening now. You could be loading somebody up. And, you know, they kill you all of a sudden. You're like, okay, how the hell did I die so fast? So the time to kill seemed to be off. Um, the guns just seemed to not be working right. And to my knowledge, there hasn't been an update yet. But, um, you know, it just was very, very annoying and frustrating. Uh, but now that I've been playing the game for about three or four days... I'm slowly starting to figure out the flow of the maps, figuring out, okay, what are high traffic areas. So, you know, obviously as the game, you know, is out longer and longer, more and more uh, people are going to get, you know, better at the game, more familiar with the game, you know, and start liking the game more. Or they can start hating it more because the same shit keeps happening. So honestly, if I had to rate this game just based off of the first couple of days, this thing would be complete shit. Like, it would be at the top of the poo scale. Like, no questions asked. I literally thought about taking the game back to the store and giving it back and, fuck, I don't know, getting, like, WWE 2K17 or some shit like that. Um, it was that bad. But I decided to grind it out. I said, okay, let me give it a chance. Let me not jump to any conclusions before I've actually put in a substantial amount of time. And, you know, at this point, 
it's not complete shit. Um, I can honestly say there seems to be somewhat of a flow to the maps. Um, and mind you, it's taken me a long life. I put in hours and hours and hours in this game thus far. But there seems to be a flow to the map, kind of, if you can figure it out. Um, the spawns still are terrible. But, you know, you know which guns can kill, and you know, based on the size of the map. So, again, just becoming more familiar with the maps has slowly, slowly began to change my, you know, perspective on the game. So, that's the maps. Now, as far as the guns go, the guns to me are the trickiest. Um, because a lot of these maps are really, really small. I'm an AR guy. Like, every Call of Duty that comes out... I'm an assault rifle guy, like that's my go-to class. I like the, you know, mixture of firing rate and damage and range, and it, it's just a complete gun to me, um, or has been, I'll say, in previous Call of Duties. But because these maps are so small, and they're corners, and if you just look at this map, do you see how many fucking walls you, like this dude just walked out and destroyed me. Um, but there's so many walls you can walk around. There's so many freaking places to hide. It's like everything turns into a close quarter, you know, battle. So having something like a submachine gun is going to give you the upper hand on most maps. Unless you got a full squad that's just sitting back and camping. Because again, if you can't get close to them, then chances are you'll get popped. Especially if they have an AR or a light machine gun from deep. So the thing is, because these maps are all very small, back to my point, because these maps are very small, figuring out, you know, which submachine guns actually, you know, work for me, because I'm a, I am spray and pray, like, my accuracy is shit. I'm not even going to sit here and try and front. So I need something that will spray, something with, you know, high fire rate and decent accuracy. Um, and, you know, just the growing pains of trying to figure that out using different guns, you know, making sure you're using the gun long enough, you know, all that type of stuff is the annoying part of it. And again, if I had to rate the guns just based off of the first couple of days, they would be probably in between like Donald Trump and shit, like not quite the shittiest, but, you know, close right underneath it. Um, but now again, now that I figured out, OK, the the ERAD's good on this type of map. You know, da 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 da. You know, insert the gun here, whatever gun you want to say or use. You know, it each gun has its perks to the map. So my thing is figuring out the maps was definitely a must. If I had to go ahead and rate this game as a whole, um, from guns to maps to spawns, you know, being shit, but from guns and maps, those two perspectives. I would have to say this game is somewhere around Iggy Azalea. I think if they do a few patches, then this game could be awesome, but it's not quite there. So if you agree, uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know where you think the game rates on the poo scale. If you think it's awesome, if you think it's shit, if you think it's in between, um, let me know. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Talk to you later. Lord Zed out. Peace.